down here in the old Bluntville. True story. Not sure if it was William Blunt who made it popular. But it's not spelled B-L-U-N-T-V-I-L-L-E. -L -L -E. <clears throat> no, sir. And ma'am. It is spelled B-L-O-U-N-T. B-I-L-L-E. -L -L -E. No, there's the junkyard. Gun show, February 10th and 11th. Appalachian Fairgrounds. They're going to have two gun shows back to back. They're having one like the third and fourth at Meadowview. It's sponsored by the Masons. Some brothers of mine. Now, they're not brothers like they've been the combat brothers, but some of uh, the newer Masons have been to combat, and I think that's great. There's a lot of higher ups in the police force, and they're usually Masons. Usually, lawyers who come from Masonic traditions are Masons. I know a lot of Masons, I love them. They helped my grandfather out, or my grandmother. When my grandfather passed away, he was a high ranking. Started in the French Masons, something like that. Anyway, they helped with the uh, expenses, burial expenses. <coughs> my grandfather was a command sergeant major in the U.S. Army. So, you can imagine how I feel getting out as a specialist, a special ed web. This man, he was a POW though. And I wouldn't say that if it wasn't true. I've seen his paperwork, his half legible one, not even in. Uh, in German. Anyway, he was a POW and his last conflict war was Vietnam. Sorry, I gotta watch the road right here. You just have to deal with it. It was Vietnam. And he had a grenade go off by a foxhole that he was in. Like, their position was overrun like the Vietnamese was under the ground and come up inside the wire so to speak and took them by surprise and from what I understand even though he never spoke about it His, his guys underneath them would talk to like my mom and my aunts and my, my uncle rest in peace Uncle Mike can't call you Aunt Mike anymore cause you're not here where you find that funny and I know you did cause you're the one who told me to call you that but anyway the man I'm speaking of my Uncle Mike's father, my grandfather, who were both deceased. They were both in the military. My Uncle Mike was in the Navy. That's what I learned what a circle jerk was. True story. Apparently my dad, he experimented in a little homosexuality experimentation I mean he did let a donkey <clears throat> stand there while he rubbed the donkey's donkey hood he told me that one when he was drinking some moonshine one night that old bear used to bring down there to the Beach Nut Raceway. Hell, 
ten dollars i got family price oh bear hell he'd give anybody moonshine <coughs> now i've seen them quieting down screaming kids by dipping their pacifier in it boy the look <clears throat> the look that this little baby had I mean do I think it's right uh, but I've been told that's how they quieten me down went with moonshine it was uh, rum and coke I guess that was my mom's drink and they would quiet me down by dipping the straw in that rum and coke <clears throat> this is probably when I was still on formula I can get that titty milk I ain't a titty baby thing I really don't like drinking because I would probably be an alcoholic I drank enough in the army for you know for a lifetime like I said people you don't get this raspy beautiful voice as Donald Trump would call it this elegant beautiful voice If you know what cadence is, comment down below. You know what a war cry is, comment down below. And if you just want to comment, go man. You are special ed Fred, man. You are special ed Fred. Comment below. Look, you want to see some America? That's right. One of these days, I'm going to get me one of them trucks, and I'm just going to drive it around the country. I'm going to leave a YouTube business card every truck stop, beer stop, bar hop. Just kidding, I don't drink. Now, I'm going to follow Ryan up church in it <laughs> until he goes home, because I don't want him thinking I'm like a stalker or something. I mean, you know. I got them Tennessee Creeks in me, too. That was the best place to go rub one out, if you know what I mean. Nice and peaceful. You gotta get caught by nobody but a squirrel. Maybe a rabbit. Well, it looks like the old Northeast is letting out. Northeast Tennessee Community College. That's the bigger campus. That's where my destination is, people. We are officially here. When did they change? Oh, yeah, they didn't change nothing. All right. We ain't going to go by the guard shack because I ain't going to be in here but a hop, skip, and a jump, hopefully. Matter of fact, I'm gonna try to park as close as I possibly can. I gotta get a student ID, people. Like, I had to take time out of my day to come out. You think I could do that online? I mean, who doesn't have a laptop? Boy, I've got an unboxing. I'm gonna try this sucker out. But luckily the Best Buy account that I have if I don't like it, I can take it back. Like the last two I've had. No questions asked. That's what I like about Best Buy. No questions asked. Other than, is it defective? Does it work? Administration building. That is what we are looking for. All right. People Odians, I'm here. Check back in you and show you a new student ID. Because I'm going to need it. I gotta go 
Let me tell you what I gotta do for an assignment. I gotta go listen to some kind of concert. So up church, if you're coming back to Tennessee anytime soon, I'd rather do my report on you. I mean, I just don't know if I can sit through. I mean, I like classical, don't get me wrong, but I can't be around a lot of people. I can't go to a Ariane Grande concert, but I can go to an Upchurch concert because I know half them some bitches out there is veterans or still serving. And if you're thinking about going in the military, you know what you ought to think of? Air Force. Go Air Force. And if you go Army, ain't even... You're going to get called a pogue no matter what. If you're 11 Bravo, you ain't good enough. You still called a pogue. Because you got the Rangers who are better. You got the, the Special Operators. You got Delta Force. You got the Secret Squirrel shit. We were doing a money exchange. I'm pretty sure this is, un this is declassified. But we were switching out the currency, the dinaras that had Saddam Hussein. Anyway, we were security for this big-ass convoy, and this guy, he rode with us. And all he would say is his name's Joe, and he wore khaki cargo pants, and he had legs like a linebacker. Like, he didn't even have his blood type on him. No dog tags, you know, well-manicured beard, you throw a fucking rag over his head, he look like he, you know, CIA, 100%. I thought it was cool, though. Rode with the CIA, people. Huh. So what you got? 